Hello, welcome to 123 Maths. I'll show you how to manage your account and get you started. Let's look at the Users section. If you added users when setting up your trial, they'll already be listed. To add more, go to Add Users. You can see how many spaces are remaining. I'm going to add Tim a test. Add user. Each user is given their own login and password. You can make a note of it here, but don't worry, I'll show you where you can also find this information. Let's return to the list. You can see that Tim Test has been added. The four books are assigned by default. To change this, go to Assign Books. I'm going to take off Perform with Times Tables and Perform with Time for Tim Test. Remember to click the book button to update the box. Let's go back to the current users to see the changes. You can also place your users in groups. I've already set these up. Let me show you how. Go to set up groups. We're going to add the name of a group and I'm going to call mine 4C. Add a group. I'm going to click here to add the users. I'm going to put Tim Test in group 4C, assign the group. Let's go back to the list and we can see that Tim Test is now under 4C. Remember the login details I mentioned earlier, all the information can be found here. Your user will need their details to log in and to begin the box. Once the books have been completed and your user has finished 123 Maths, you can archive and make space for someone new. I'm going to archive this user. Be sure that you wish to archive this person. They will then be listed under the Archive tab. Now let's take a look at Assessments. All your users are listed here. When you select an assessment for a user, the next time they log in, it will be highlighted in their account for them to take. Once they've completed the assessment, the button will turn yellow. You can then reset the same assessment at a later date to see if any progress has been made. Click here to view the completed assessments. We we'll Choose your user and the report will show. This can also be printed. Now let's go to Targets. The Targets feature helps to check the progress. You can click Groups or All Users for your list of the users. And I'm going to set Tim Test a target to answer 20 questions a day. You can then see that the target has now been set. This progress bar gives you a quick view on how they are doing, whether the target has been completed, whether it's been missed and whether any questions have been answered at all. OK, finally, let's take a look at comments. This is great to leave encouraging words and spur them on. Choose your user and add a comment. Plus one. A great start, Tim. Carry on the good work. Add the comment. The user will see these when they log in and they can reply if you've asked them to. Thank you for watching and do get in touch if you have any queries.